here in Adobe After Effects and we are going to be looking at 3D camera tracking with text. So we're going to jump right in, click New Composition from Footage, click the footage you want, boom, here we go. Okay, now you could trim your footage to the place you want it to be at and right click trim to comp work area this makes it organized all right we're ready to go so go to effect 3d camera tracker now i have it up here because i've used it recently but if you did if this is the first time you're using it you're going to have to go to perspective 3d camera tracker and just click that Okay, it's analyzing the background now, and you can see the analyzing status here. It's initial, initializing now. It's just going to go through every frame and find objects or places in the background that it can detect. You can see it's going through, it tells you which frame it's going through, how many seconds is left, and you can obviously cancel this action if you need to do so. Now it's solving for camera and we're almost ready to go. It should show points in a few seconds. Yep, here are all the points it has tracked. And you can see we have points all along the bridge. We have points along this bridge in the background. We have points pretty much everywhere. And it did a very good job on this piece of footage. Sometimes you only get a couple of points and if you only get a couple of points you want to check detailed analysis and the detailed analysis will just run a detailed analysis and we'll try to recover more points sometimes it will work sometimes it will not work but it does take a little more time and it's going to stress your computer a little bit okay now we can change the track point size. You see these points in the back are a little hard to see. So if we have trouble seeing them, we can just enlarge it. And these points get really big because they're close because it's a 3D space now. So we have points in the back here. And I'm going to select a point here, this point. So I just click on it and then I right click create text and camera so I created a 3d text object so it's re this bl this red piece there and we can't really see it that well you can only see the red um, adjust adjusters so go to under text go to transform and then go to scale and drag to the right and we could raise increase the scale now it's easier to edit this and I'm gonna type New York City all right now we can adjust this a little a little bit And on the right here, you could change, obviously, the font size, make it a little smaller. I'm going to move it up to the bridge more. Okay. So now, that piece of text is attached to that point, that 3D point. And if we go through the video, you see... The text does not, it stays with that point. It doesn't move around even if the camera moves. Alright, so that's basically how you do it. We can add a shadow effect because, look, it's water, shadow. So to select New York City, we can make a copy of this. Control C, Control V, and New York City 2 has popped up. And if we just click this, oh, 
and you want to hold shift when you're moving so you can move in a straight line because you want the shadow to align. So New York City 2, we're going to right click this. We're going to go to transform and rotation. Rotate this 180 degrees. Click OK. And boom, there we go. So here is our shadow. Now we can change the opacity of this. So how about we go to transform, opacity, and lower that a little bit. Not totally, but that's suitable. Usually around 40 is suitable. Okay. So there we go. And if we played this video, you could see how it looks. The New York City is staying on that 3D point and the shadow is also staying with it and gives it that sleek professional look. Okay, so that's how you use 3D camera tracker with text. Please subscribe to Robotic Nation and show your support by liking this video and commenting. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.